How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. How do and welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour. But today it's not going to be 30 minutes. I'm going to do some five minute shorties because uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things um, related to an article I actually wrote um, about creating a VMware vSphere distributed switch VDS. Um, so I'll put this um, article uh, video that I did for Experts Exchange uh, in the description of this one. This was going to be no more than five minutes, uh, but I wanted to quickly show you how to export back up the configuration of our VDS. And quite simply, we click the networking in hosts and clusters, or in this view. We select our VDS, we right click, we select settings, and we select export configuration. Give it a description, VDS for e lab, and I'll give it a um, date, 5th of August, 2023, followed by OK. And then select the location uh, to, to save the backup.zip. So I'm going to save it on the desktop in the Experts Exchange folder. I'm going to put it in my backups. I'm going to click Save. There we go. That's it. That's how we back up our VDS configuration. So should the need occur where if we have to restore vCenter server from scratch, uh, we can restore our VDS configuration. If I just right click there, do settings again, and I can click restore. Okay, so I told you this was gonna be a quick shorty. So come back more. Uh, come back later uh, for some more shorties that we're going to do as well related to uh, VDS.